Hi everybody, thanks for watching our Kickstarter video for our project to support Justin Reed Early's book, Street Child. Hi, my name is Justin Reed Early. I'm the author of Street Child, which is a book that I wrote about growing up homeless in Seattle, Washington. There are many reasons why young people become homeless, but the main reason is they simply are running away from abusive situations. When I was 10, the time soon came when I simply had enough. My father approached rapidly to pound his fist into my face. It must have felt so good to him, a real relief after 10 years of buildup. And one of the things that's so powerful about Justin's book is it's told from the child's perspective, and that's the voice that's usually missing. And hearing that story firsthand can really make a change in kids' lives because young people see themselves in Justin's story. Dear Justin, I found your book in my room at Youth Care in Seattle. Thank you for sharing your story. I was very depressed and have considered suicide. I obviously didn't do it, but I don't want to live on the streets anymore. Your story inspired me to continue on a better path, and I just registered for school. I hope you continue to share your story. Thank you for helping me with mine. You know, we've had a chance to see the impact that Justin's story can have firsthand. Uh, we took Justin around the state of California to speak to a number of counties uh, to their child welfare departments. And in one of those counties, in Fresno County, uh, delinquency court judge David Gottlieb was so moved by what Justin had to say that he was completely fed up. So what this judge did was to convene a task force and he brought together all of the key players in that county, probation, law enforcement, delinquency court, dependency court, child welfare, school personnel, to look at strengthening the safety net that can catch children so we don't have to incarcerate them in the first place. And that is just one example of the positive impact that Justin's story can have. We'd like to get him out to speak to many more counties around the country. When I was a program director with the Child Welfare League of America, uh, one of the things I did was to publish an edition of the Child Welfare Journal. Uh, this has a number of studies in it. One of those studies looks at homeless youth in eight cities in America. Uh, there tend to be high concentrations of youth who are homeless in cities like Denver, like Seattle, like uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles. What we'd like to do with Justin's book is to take him out on a tour so and start with these eight cities so he can talk directly to the young people who are on the streets give books to them, do trainings with them, do trainings with social workers, with resource families to try to get these children off of the streets in those cities. So another way that we'd like to get Justin's story out there is to adapt the book into a screenplay that we'd like to sell as a television movie. Uh, we don't often, we as an audience, don't often get to see children who live the life that Justin led. We don't see children who live on the streets, even though there are more than a million and a half of them right now in America. Um, and we don't see them on television. And we believe in the power of the medium of TV and the power to bring this story into people's homes. So we've adapted the book uh, into a, the, a treatment for a screenplay. Now that we have the treatment, we intend to set about trying to pitch it. Um, both Justin and I have connections to people who work in the entertainment industry, and so we will be getting in touch with them to see if we can move this part of the process along. I was lying on a stinky, piss-smelling mattress in an alley when a male voice woke me up from my sleep coma. Excuse me, he said. You look like you need something to eat. I was 130 pounds, and I should have been 160. My name is Ken. Take this money and please get something to eat. Don't use it for drugs. I got up off my mattress and decided to actually go eat with Ken. He let me keep the money and paid for the meal, which really made me like him. We talked for a long time and he gave me his number. This is just one example of the, one of the people who really touched my life and really tried to help me. Uh, there's so many nonprofit soldiers and heroes that are out there. And, you know, I want to give back and participate and help people be inspired off the streets. So we hope that you'll give and help us provide books to homeless kids and uh, hopefully we can inspire them into better lives. So please give because this is a very important story that really has the potential to change lives. Thank you.